Welcome back to EKG. Back here again with some Markham Knight. Woo! Back here at it again, doing the boogum. No, what? sugar mean the boo. No, no. A little extra goo. So, so you know what? This I love these parts in art. So it's like Batman's got all these crazy hacking things. He's like, okay, let's go and hack this radar. Nah, I'm just gonna put a bunch of explosive gel in it and blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> I can hack it and use it for good. Or, and I'm gonna explode it when I'm standing a foot away from it. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be perfectly fine. Okay, where do I go? Okay. Um, okay, so you said you had a story for me. Oh, God. So, I'm pretty sure I just, I need to make, like, a, I'm gonna, gonna have to make a compilation of just crazy fucking things I witness while I'm making deliveries on the north side of Milwaukee. <laughs> because, my God. Because I, I, I told you about the time when I, there was just the dude, like, joyriding in midday. Like, literally just driving his car, like, in people's lawns and, like, on the sidewalk. No, you did not. I didn't what? tell you that? No! Oh, man. I thought I told that on mic. No. Yeah, like, it, it was one day. It was, like, it was near Capitol, too, but, like, the bad side of Capitol. Yeah. yeah. And the other story I have also occurred on the bad side of Capitol. I'm surprised. So, yeah, I was just driving, and then I see this dude in front of me, and he's literally driving in the bike lane, and I'm like, what is this guy doing? And I get closer to him. He's missing his, uh, both his passenger and driver's side windows, and there's, they're covered with uh grocery like plastic bags and his uh his like rear uh windshield is fucking busted open too it's a fucking dealership it has dealership plates so i'm i have no idea if it was stolen or what but and then so he oh god i need to pay attention <laughs> so then yeah he starts uh he almost hits a dude goes onto the sidewalk literally misses a sign like a brick fucking sign of a business by like a foot maybe and literally just crosses three lanes of traffic comes back into the middle and he's going like 20 over at least and then finally he like took a right and i noticed his foot one of his tires was flat and i was like what in god's name is happening <laughs> like dude like I, people drive like maniacs out there but this guy was on another level Jesus. So yeah, so then yesterday I'm on Capitol. Like it was like Capitol and like fucking You don't need to give the exact location. Yeah, no. <laughs> and fucking I'm I'm at a stoplight and I see this uh who a clearly homeless woman. Kind like kind of bigger. Yeah, like, yeah. Not like obese, but bigger. Yeah. And she had like a weird like rolling suitcase thing. And she did not look well, like stumbling and shit. I was like, oh god, what is happening? She's like and she was up. Uh, not on the sidewalk, but on, like, the side of the road, kind of, like, yeah. right off the curb. And she proceeds to, like, put her suitcase down, pull down her pants, and doesn't even squat, bends at, like, a 45-degree <laughs> angle, and just starts pissing. And, like, dude, this woman must have not peed in, like, a week, because it was a fucking, like, jet stream. And I thank God that I only, I saw, I saw it from the side, because if I would have saw that from the back, that would have been the most disgusting thing I would have ever seen in my fucking life. <laughs> she's so, she's just fucking, like, out of the middle of public, like, this looks like a good spot, yeah, fuck <laughs> No, like, straight up. Drops, drops. And then, like, just bends on a 45 degree, and like, no one ever taught her how to squat. Right, well, I'm, she was kind of bigger, so I don't think she had the God. muscular abilities to squat. Oh my god, though, just like, this looks like a good place! Right. And she was peeing in the suitcase. No, no, on, on the road. She put her suitcase down, like, oh. like she did, couldn't get urine on the suitcase. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking preposterous. Oh god, it was so gross. Oh my god. Dude, like, and I'm not even exaggerating when I say a jet stream. It was like, <laughs> I have, like, I have never seen someone urinate at with that much force. It was <laughs> disgusting. Velocity, but Like, no, it was, it was unhuman, I swear to god. It's like a fire hose. <laughs> Beyond, almost. Dude, the fire... The fire department down there should hire her. It's like, <laughs> all right, bring it, bring her in, boys. Like a building's on fire. She's like, Tally Ho! We need the spot shooter. Right? Oh my god, oh, that's man. so fucking funny. It was so gross. <laughs> god damn. And then like, oh, and that shit happens way more than people think too. There was a time when I went. Uh, I was going to Chicago with my. Wait, wait, hold on. People be on the sidewalk. No, in the just like of the day. homeless people doing things you would never expect them to do. And it, for some reason, it's it seems to be like obese black people. Oh no, women. 
black women because there's another time that i had with my grandma and my cousin we were at the amtrak station going to chicago and my cousin was like eight at the time she walks in there's a homeless woman in fully naked in the bathroom like to like basically like showering in the sink it was then apparently fully naked <laughs> like i i get it like when you don't got anywhere to go like yeah my advice for people, if, like, you would ever be stuck in a situation like that, is, like, do what you can to make enough money to get, like, a month membership at, like, a gym. A gym, yeah. And then go there to shower. Yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, because most places, you can get a gym membership for, like, ten bucks a month. Yeah. I know how you feel. And yeah, yeah, and the my, fact that, like... My cousin was, like, scarred from that. <laughs> I can't imagine just walking in and seeing just that naked black woman just like like obese too i'm talking like stomach to her knees like oh god yeah sounds sexy <laughs> right i want to bang that mm. yeah north side of milwaukee is an interesting place to make the god, Eric, you're so insensitive talking about fat obese black women <laughs> you're not only are you insensitive you're racist <laughs> yeah shameful um, definitely. and sexist oh yes I, I mean, I always try to be. Because when you, because <laughs> when you talk about that stuff, that's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know, have you heard this shit? No. About, yeah. Like, we, the let's, let's just ignore it. The Louis C.K. like rape joke thing. Yeah. Like. It, no, it was a pedophile joke thing. Yeah. He's yeah. Like, oh he's yeah. Like they have to really love it. You, you know, it's like he's not saying pedophilia is good. It's not like it should be acceptable, but mm -hmm. he's just making jokes. But people are so fucking sensitive. Exactly, and like, and honestly, I think that's the best way to really like yeah. bring start the conversation of a problem like that. Humor, like, is built from pain. It's exactly. built from bad experiences. Alfred, the funniest know. shit. Like, look at the Sonic of Satan. <laughs> that is pain. That right. Is, that's. Obviously, to a much lesser extent than pedophile. Like, <laughs> it's not, but it's also like people don't understand. That's not like making light of like the victims either. He's not saying like, ah, children who are victims of pedophilia. What a bunch of assholes! <laughs> right. I just don't like. I don't get it. I don't get why people are so sensitive. This is the second episode in a row, we're just talking about sensitive ass people now. It just came up because you know you said like, oh, they all have it all be like. Fat, like obese black women, and I was not like, all, but I know. <laughs> in every my, homeless person, in is like obese black in ninety-five percent of my experiences where I've seen weird shit like that, it's been. I yeah. had a homeless uh, black woman come up to me once and try to like give me what she was was telling me were food stamps, which I've been on food stamps. They're not a physical thing; it's like a card. Yeah, it's a card. Yeah, she was like trying to like give me like these like things. I'm like the fuck. I'm like ow. And, and the thing was, she did it to me twice in the span of a single year but like you know uh, separated yeah and the second time i was like you've done this before and she was like oh well fuck you but then she like, got <laughs> pissed off i'm like i'm like whoa <laughs> it's like yeah sorry i didn't fall for your scam dude did i ever tell you about the time that me and matt had a guy a homeless guy come up to us and start doing magic and demanded money <laughs> really so we had just seen like a bucks game or something we were leaving the bradley center and we went the wrong we went out the wrong night like exit yeah so we weren't by it like our car and this guy comes up to me, he's like hey man what's your match trick we're like no no we're good it's like no man we're, we're showing me extra trick and he like you know comes up to us and he's got his hands in his pocket you know yeah the, the, the universal sign of that could be trouble <laughs> yeah so we're like oh, okay okay and he's like uh how much money you got and i'm like i only have a credit card yeah because i only did and Matt's like, oh, uh, I got he's like, why? <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, pay me to do a magic trick. And he was getting, like, aggressive yeah. about it. So, actually, we paid him, and I can't even remember what the fuck his magic trick was. It was something really stupid. Nah, I fucked up, I fucked up. Get in the grate? Nope, he sees me. Fucking run. Fucking run. All right, I'm good. But what? Okay, so, I was like, I was, it was real tense. Right. Um basically matt pays him i couldn't remember what the fucking magic trick was but yeah it was so like why is that okay i i just don't mm, mm. no and and it's stupid too because usually in those situation panhandlers like i don't want to say most of them like are just trying to scam you and don't actually need the money but more times than not they're trying to scam you at least in my experience yeah well it's true because i had a fucking guy get in my car once Really, I've had dude and on Northside Milwaukee and in my delivery truck, I've had dudes 
come up to my window and be like hey i got a job interview like can you give me a ride like to this place i'm like uh no <laughs> i'm doing my job yeah like no how do you have a job interview and not have a way there right well no that is a pretty big problem for a lot of people but well i mean like i, like, I don't know there's ways to get places like i get it because like maybe you need the job to get a car yeah I but yeah that. public transportation and all that yeah exactly it's like you just gotta do some planning, you know? I'm doing this the worst way possible. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm just being like the opposite of stealthy. Just like beating people up and running away. I mean, that's good. <laughs> Nut shot. Oh, they're coming. Oh, he's coming. Come on, bro. I am the knight. <laughs> I am the Batman. I am the bookum. No, uh... Which I hit this guy with. Yeah, no, I was uh, getting off the freeway, and a guy just, like, jumped in my car, and was like, oh, can you take me to the ATM? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, okay. And he's like, oh, I don't have any money. He's like, how much you got? I'm like, wow. I, have, I was like, I have to pay rent. He's like, give me 40 bucks, and, like, what? again, hand in pocket type deal, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, well, I want to survive this. <laughs> so, I know most people are like, well, why'd you give him the money? I'm like, because I actually want to, yeah. you know... Like to stay alive. I'd like forty dollars my life. <laughs> I'll spend the forty dollars. Yeah, it's like even though he might not have had a weapon, I still and then he's like, here's your number, call me and I'll pay you back. Yeah. I immediately called it boop a doo boop. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Of course. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, but you have reached it. <laughs> I'm like I was like on a scale from one to shock. For me to penetrate. Me right now. Something right. With a little more punch. Well, yeah. Did he just say he needs a little bit more little punch defensive. to penetrate it? <laughs> My God! I wonder if that's a ramp for your car. Nah. Alfred, I need you to lower the bridges. But join us next time, and we'll see if it is though. Oh my God, the suspense, the sus.